What have you done, Simon? This is it, this is it, man, man. <laughs> I don't know whether anything works. It's frightening, isn't it? <laughs> this is the end of the road, but... Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later, we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. What is it like? Well, I think it's okay. I thought I went over to the So, are we ready to start packing? Well, we are really. I know. <sighs> I'm just doing the bin and a few little jobs and then... We're we going to start packing. Packing the pilot books. <laughs> we won't be needing those for some time. So we went to Leroy Merlin and got some uh, boxes. Yeah, they're not the best boxes, I have to say. No, no they're, not. <laughs> they're not. They're not thick enough. You had some um, oil. oil. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. in a locker. And uh, yeah, we packed up about uh, 10. Yes. Yeah. yeah um, I can't believe how much stuff we've got. Well, we brought 80 boxes with us. Yeah. So, but we're not taking 80 boxes, I'm sure. No. No. We bought 40 today, or 30, 30 I think, 30, yeah. I think it was 30, and um, yeah, so a lot of things is not going because it's included on the boat, and a lot of things we're throwing away because yeah. we won't need it. Yeah, and uh, the other thing, we uh, didn't bought a van. We bought a van. Well, we haven't actually paid for it yet, but we bought a van, oh yeah. my word. <laughs> this is, uh, seemed like the logical way to get back really because uh, of Dobby, we can't go by aircraft, we have to go by ferry and uh, you know trying to work out how to get back it just seemed like the end, in the end of the day just buy a van, uh, right hand drive, a British van and then sell it when we get there. Yeah, yeah. it was the cheapest way to do the job yeah. It, it, yeah. really so yeah. Yeah. and then we can take everything, not worry about space, not yeah. worry about you know what's going to happen so yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It was the best. The, the best, best way. solution. Yeah, it was yeah. really. Yeah. So it's all uh, coming to a dramatic end. <laughs> so it's starting to look a bit bare. Yeah. So we emptied this cabin and now we are piling up all the boxes here because we don't have the van yet. So. Done, Simon. This is it, this is it, man, man. <laughs> I don't know whether anything works. It's frightening, isn't it? <laughs> this is the end of the road. Right. Right.
mixed feelings about this because the teas was all planned as obviously we put the boat on the market so we had people see yeah. it we took the boat on the market quite some time ago actually mm -hmm. uh, back in the autumn and um, the market was very very slow i think covid uh, was the main issue yes and then uh, we kind of put it back on the market in the beginning of march yes and we had so many inquiries it was incredible um it was just one after the other five in a day sometimes mm -hmm. and um if you're thinking of selling your boat, uh, most of our inquiries came from Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and they were very serious inquiries as well. Yeah. And um, we didn't use a broker. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. So, so yeah. yes, so, so the boat's she's gone. gone. Uh, yes. So uh, the new buy buyers uh, put the deposit down like um, five, six days ago. Yeah, well, they paid for it. Yeah. And they then they already paid, paid for it. Yeah. So today is uh, Thursday, uh, 21st. Yeah. April. Yeah. Uh, so they are coming to uh, get her on Sunday. Yeah. But so that, that means that we didn't have much time to pack up. No, uh, up. we kind of had about uh, eight days in total. But um, it, it, we can't believe the amount of stuff that we've got on the boat, and and having got it all out is incredible, isn't incredible. it? Incredible. How much stuff we have. Yeah. Uh, and how much stuff we brought that we didn't no, need to. No, absolutely. I mean coats. I mean <laughs> and long trousers. I mean we've hardly worn coats or long trousers, and we're going to go away with one pair of long trousers yeah. and, and a coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's um. It's really sad. Um, yeah. We have been on the boat for three years and a month. So originally when we set off on this uh, scheme, we were only going to do two years. So it has actually been quite a long time, but nothing can last forever, I don't think. Um, we certainly didn't really have the finances to go on for another couple no, of years. No, no. No. Uh, and that's the truth of it. So uh, we've also, uh, my daughter's having a baby and so grandchildren are on their way. Yeah, one of the main reasons to go mm. back now is uh, family commitments because we have our eldest children uh, getting yeah. married. Married and things like and, that. And yeah, having babies. And we always knew that there was this window uh, yeah. of about two or three years between when we decided yeah. to do this and when the first sort of grandchild or weddings yeah. and things like that. I want, want to be close. Out. We want to be close yeah. when the babies come. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's the time to go back yeah. home. Uh, but we didn't yeah. finish. No, no we're no. not going, you no. know, buy no. a house and no. uh, back to work no. life. No, that's not the plan. I mean, this is the beginning of the beginning, really, for us, uh, because having been on this journey and uh, found out what we can do with um, uh, YouTube and social media and all that sort of thing, it's really sort of like opened up a whole new world for us. And so we really don't want to stop. And so if you think you're going to get rid of us, forget it. Uh, we're still going to be here. <laughs> Um, we've got some amazing projects that we've decided to do. Uh, the first thing is we've been and gone and bought a van. Yeah, we bought a van because van. we need to take our, uh, or our stuff, All our back, stuff back to the UK. Yeah. Uh, going back to the UK, the main reason now is uh, to get the vaccines. Yeah, get the vaccine yeah. and uh, also be there for a uh, grandchild who's yeah, so, going to yeah, be born yeah. in, in, in two months. Yeah, yeah in in three months, yeah. yeah. So yeah. uh, we needed some kind of a plan to take the, yeah. our stuff back. So yeah. the best thing we came up with, and Dobby, Dobby was the main yeah, problem no, because problem well. all the airline companies are not taking pets at the moment. No. They all, otherwise we would have to go and uh, fly around Europe yeah. and with COVID, everything turned a bit impossible. But, but basically he has to go across the border yeah, in a vehicle car. or or by the Eurostar. Yes. So, so that, that really was the end of it really. So while we were doing that, we might as well go and buy a van and not yeah. a car. Yeah. Uh, we bought a right hand drive van, uh, so it's a British van and uh, we're gonna go and collect it shortly. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're gonna drive that back uh, to the UK. Yes, mm. but on the way, we're going to stop for the big project. Yep, number one, uh, the big project is we are going to buy a Dutch style barge. Uh, so this is still a boat. It will be approximately around about 80 foot long by about 14 foot wide. And uh, we're looking for one uh, which is over 100 years old and one that needs renovating. So our plan is to buy one. Uh, and uh, spend the next 18 months renovating it and bringing it up to war modern standards and make it as environmentally friendly as we can. It's sustainable never going to be as possible. totally uh, sustainable yeah. or, or completely environmentally friendly because it is a barge and we're not going to turn it into a sailing barge. It's going to be a, 
a motor barge but mm. we want to do a lot of work on uh, electric solar wind generation all that sort of thing and this thing is huge yeah this huge. is huge absolutely enormous mm. so that's our major focus um for the next sort of 18 months really and then we're going to take you on some wonderful journeys uh, through the british and european waterways, waterways. Yeah. it will actually be quite exciting i think once we get into it um i think it's such a, a thing at the moment of having uh, sold the boat yeah uh, i mean uh, I, I'm, I'm quietly very upset about yeah. it but it had to happen you know and um you know some we, we, you we basically to need to go back and try to make some money because yeah. uh, we want to come back to this life that's another yeah. thing we need to tell you uh, but we need to go for three or four years and make some money and then come back again yeah. but that doesn't mean getting a job no no it just certainly doesn't mean getting a job but we're gonna get we're gonna take you to how yeah. we're gonna make the money to come back to this life yeah. yes yeah. and then we want to it's not making money on youtube because no. it doesn't give you it doesn't give you any not, money not money. To us. no not for us anyway <laughs> uh and uh i was going to say something really intelligent and i've forgotten well oh yeah no it so the reason why we're coming back to this life is because we want to buy a lagoon 450 yeah. and uh do the world arc um uh, i'm not very a fan of doing the arc atlantic because we came across on our own in both directions but um i think the thing about the art world is that it actually kind of pushes you to go and do it and yeah it goes around a bit too quick i think but uh i think the whole um because i really want thing. to go around the world yeah. you know i know yeah. we, we we made the same more mileage. miles more yeah. mile yeah. mileage than uh, if we have gone around the world but i really really want to go around yeah and uh th this is the only way to push us to go around yeah so um we're not quite sure which year we're going to go it depends how we uh do it uh, making some money um uh, but as soon as we've got enough money up together uh, to buy the boat and really kit the boat out properly this time yes. because this has been a fantastic boat I really if anybody's thinking yeah. about getting a Lagoon 400 absolutely brilliant boat I swear by this boat yeah. it has been 100% all the time but what we didn't do was um, kit it out quite correctly right from the world from, from, yeah from the beginning uh, like put the right amount of solar we never panels. had enough solar yeah. and, and it was a pain uh, yeah, yeah. really all the way the around. generator wasn't strong enough no, and we no. just bought a little one a portable one yeah so we're gonna do things yeah. properly yeah. next time yeah. yeah so we you know we're gonna go for the sort of one and a half thousand watts of solar and um you know lithium batteries and all that sort of thing so that we've got enough power because power really is the biggest problem yeah. isn't and it? the reason we're going to the 450s uh i really need a bigger galley because as you know i like to cook mm. uh, we cook big tuna our... as well gutting tuna here wasn't easy <laughs> it wasn't no we need a bigger though. galley to gut the tuna mm. yeah so we need a bigger a bit more space i think i think i feel happier as well on a bigger boat uh sailing uh, sailing yeah. around the world there's some long passages there um this has been a great boat and i would sail it around the world um but i just feel that personally i'd like something a little bit bigger yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's going to be an interesting project because we're going to try and buy the cheapest one we can yes you're gonna but we're gonna buy an x charter, x charter boat. boat there's no question about that yeah it will be cheaper an x charter boat. as cheap as we can get it so we're gonna kit it up as we need yeah and then we're going to spend the money um upgrading it yes uh so that by the time we're ready to go you know if we need new cells we've got new cells and all that sort of thing mm -hmm. so uh, yeah that's the, that's that's the plan but the first plan is to get this damn barge done yeah well not really not the no, we, got, yeah, no before because we bought the van since we thought well we're going to buy the van what are we going to do with the van when we get back to the uk yeah. because we don't need a van yeah. so we bought the biggest van we could find yes and during the quarantine because soon, as soon as we arrive in the uk we're going to have to be two weeks in quarantine so on those two weeks we're going to convert the van in a camper van yeah so and we're going to do all the electrics yeah. uh, solar panels uh yeah, things like that toilets uh camping and gas, sell it. everything and we're going to sell it and see whether we can turn a profit we've got a figure in mind yeah. uh so that's challenge one really isn't it yeah, yeah. and we're going to take you with uh we're yes. gonna, we are making a spreadsheet yeah. a spreadsheet with all the costs yeah. and we're going to take you through that too yeah 
and uh, we're going to be very clear with you if we're going to make money there we're going to show you well our, our, our hope is that we uh turn over enough money and make enough profit to pay for all the costs of going back oh, because going back, yeah. it's actually going to be quite expensive yeah. to get back yeah. uh that's our plan so that's mm -hmm. project one in the meantime we will also be trying to buy the barge yes and uh, we have got our um, one we're hoping it's going to work out when we go to look for it look at it yeah which we will be on our journey back to the uk yes it's in and, belgium uh, so, yeah. if that happens and uh, we could do a deal and it's right then we will uh probably get the barge uh middle of um, june yeah and then we have to get it back to the uk yes that is going to be a uh, big really challenge because the barge is uh, is still not done from the, uh, no, there so no, we're going to be no. Uh, taking you know the project with us yeah uh, but so also we got across the channel across the channel and the busiest shipping lane in the world uh mm -hmm. there so that'd be that'll be great fun we'll be back at sea and also uh we've got some friends uh lining up uh to take a sailing and uh we're going to go off around the south coast and take you uh all over the place around the Solent and cows and things like we're that. not going to be away from boats ever no. because we just love this life we yeah. absolutely love yeah. this life we have been very emotional yeah. on the last uh, few months because selling the boat and thinking that or oh, we're not going to be living this life anymore has been really really upsetting to us yeah. and we have been really upset haven't we well, uh, yeah. so we realized that that's why we came up with these ideas yeah. and going and coming back again. and we have another project we're going to do but we're not telling you about that one yeah. but that is actually even more exciting more exciting yeah. that is really really fun yeah. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, that's one to let you in on in uh, a month or two. Yes, mm. let's get ourselves first with these two first, yep. and um, then we will yeah, talk the about the other ones. So pretty, with the wind blowing in your hair, we can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take. Side is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday.